Vote 2024. There is a lot happening in the GOP party over the next few weeks. Nikki Haley will remain in the race for the Republican nomination even after she lost her home state of South Carolina this weekend. Super Tuesday for the GOP, just eight nights away, where she possibly makes her final stand against Donald Trump. And this comes as RNC chair Ronna McDaniel announced she's stepping down. News for Jack's reporter Scott Johnson joining us live with what local voters are saying about all of this. Scott? Well, Joy, I'm finding on the GOP side as we go into Super Tuesday, you'll still find voters who want former President Trump to be their candidate, but others who just still want someone else. We're headed to Michigan tomorrow. Following the South Carolina primary, Nikki Haley let voters know despite losing to former President Trump in every contest, she's not dropping out. I've always been surprised over the fact that in this country, we cannot come up with better candidates. And as I was out talking to voters, I found some like this man who leans conservative, but wants another candidate to knock off Trump as the GOP standard bearer. I hope so. You do? Why? Again, age is a factor. Number two, uh, I think we're tired of the chaos that we had during the Trump four years. But that is not the majority view within the GOP, as Trump has won every primary so far easily. And I found just as many voters who want him back in the White House. Trump's going to win. You think he's going to win? Absolutely. Why do you think he's retained his base of support? I just think, like, his policies and what he stands for, I think a lot of people agree with, you know, what he wants to implement. Then there are voters who wonder whether Trump or even President Biden will be on the ballot come November as both men deal with questions on their age and Trump deals with several ongoing legal issues. You think they're going to be the guys we vote on in the next year? I have no idea. Why do you say that? Because we just don't know. You know, when everybody, everything's up in the air. The other major headline from the GOP is Ronna McDaniel, the longtime Barty chair, is stepping down. Daniel Cronrath teaches political science at FSCJ. Was well, that a big deal or not as much? Well, I think historically it would have been a big deal losing the chair of the RNC right before a big presidential election cycle. Uh, however, in reality, the, the de facto chair of the Republican Party is Donald Trump. And Cronrath adds about Haley that he thinks she'll stay in the race as long as she has money. However, a big donor, Americans for Prosperity Action, which is funded by the influential billionaire Koch brothers, decided to stop donating to her campaign. Back to you.